Hello everybody and welcome back to Journal Auto YouTube channel. This is Alex and today I will show you a problem that I'm having with my Volkswagen Fox. I'm just going to the car repair shop to check the source of the issue and then to see if we can solve it. I hope it will not be something uh, expensive and I thought to make this video maybe it will be helpful for other people who will be having the same issue. I hope you are hearing me well because today I don't have my microphone attached to my phone. This is because I forgot my microphone in my other car and my wife just left for work with that car. So I don't have a microphone and I have no other occasion to make this video since I am planning to solve the issue with the car right now. So let's go inside to see what exactly it's the issue with this car. So. I started the car and uh, you can see here, apart from the check engine um, warning light, we'll talk about that a little bit later, I have here, you see light, the blue light, what is here, the high beam warning light. This means that the car normally tells you that the high beam is on, just that my high beam is not on, it's the low beam. And I will show it to you how it's in the front. So, the headlights are on and you see the left headlight, it's okay, it lights okay. But the right one, it has a very dim light. You see, it's not a normal light, but it's very dim. This should be an electrical problem, I think, but I'm going now to the car repair shop to check what is the source of the issue. Again, see, I'm in low beam, but I have a high beam warning light. And sometimes this issue goes away if I am putting the high beam on. So like this, now you have the high beam. You see, now the blue light, it's um, more powerful. It's not like that dim. And now again, you see the error. So I took off the high beam and now the blue light, it's dimmer, but it's still there even if I have here only the low beam. So sometimes I, I was doing like that and the issue was disappearing. But this time it's not disappearing. And of course, you don't have a Volkswagen if you don't have the check engine warning light on. I have this on for two years already. I went to a car repair shop and they told me that it's from the acceleration and then to another car repair shop and they told me that the issue might be from an uh, electric relay. What is for sure is that this check engine warning light appeared on the dashboard after I changed the coil pack more than two years ago and I'm planning to finally get rid of it. So I will be asking the car repair shop to check again what is the source of this issue and if it's not something super expensive, maybe I'll, I'll solve it. I'm saying super expensive because basically this car is like a, let's say, working horse for us. So I'm not planning to invest a lot because its value now it's very, very low. Here it is. This was the problem. The jack that goes into the headlight was partially burned. And that is why the headlight was not functioning properly. We see only this part looks okay. This one is totally burned and this one it's almost totally burned, let's say. So it didn't cost me too much, only 12 euros. So it, it, was, not a, it was not a huge issue, happily. And uh, regarding the problem with the check engine, we checked it again and uh, the result was again the main relay on the electrical system. So I need to contact an electrician to see what the problem is. So there is no issue with the acceleration of what the first car shop told me. I don't know what happened there. Maybe they wanted to take more money from me or maybe just they are not capable enough or maybe their system was not good enough and gave an erroneous result. But this is the third time I'm uh, I'm checking this error and this is the second time in a row where the issue is the main relay and nothing to do with the acceleration. So I have the contact of a good electrician. I will contact him to change that relay and let's hope it will not be something expensive. 
So I hope this was useful for you. If you have this issue in the future with a dim light, first thing, check if the jack looks okay, if it's in good shape, if it's not burned. Of course, it can be other issues, more important and more expensive, but it's always better to check with the smallest possible issue, with the least expensive possible issue. Wish you the best and let's hear each other in other videos too.